Welcome to the 81st edition of the Pro Wrestling Zone. I am the new majestic champion of the world, Tiger Height. And Finally. I am, and I am the former majestic champion of the world, the gallery of many peanuts. And we have a stacked show oh, this week. Yes, we do. But next week is probably going to be one of our longest shows ever, but we'll cross that bridge when no, we come the to week it. After will be our longest oh, that's show. right. Yeah, no. I, Anyways. I, I keep forgetting that week is useless. Anyway, so let's talk about some news. What's going on in the world? Now, uh, um, let's, let's, let's talk about Dragon Lee. So okay. a lot of people were confused because the 19th anniversary show was going to, or er, took place. Yeah. And Dragon Lee, who was wrestling in two matches was absent from it right so what happened was is that he suffered a broken eardrum huh. during the match emergency surgery right and was out of the pay-per-view okay um he was not even able to fly home to mexico Ooh. um it was a kick it caught him right apparently what happened was it was right here and it right. hit him just in the right point huh. to where his eardrum just pop. Right. So, um, obviously, we are... And luckily, everything is good. Um, Dragon right. Lee said that there was no issues with um, hearing or anything, right. obviously, than that one point. But, obviously, he was not there. Uh, Laredo Kid returned to AEW for the first time since his um, three-way match with the Elite at, I think it was the first Fighter Fest? Okay. It was one of those. But, yes, he did return. Um, I guess Pac had a minor leg injury. Ah. Nothing big. Um, it was just more of a stinger, and they weren't going to take the risk. Right. Um, but, yes, he was in that match, and hopefully we'll see uh, Laredo Kid in there more. Right. Um, because I like Laredo Kid a lot. Okay. Uh, Glenn Jacobs, or Kane, has yes. officially announced that he has run for a second term as the mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. Oh, so he's a future Hall of Famer. Yes, we'll talk about it here in a second. If you would wait for three seconds. Well, you know what? You know what? Whatever. Um, the Republican primary will be held on May 3rd, 2022. And obviously, he's a representative for them, for the Republican Party. And the general election will take place on August 4th of 2022. Um, speaking of Kane, he has been officially announced as the latest inductee into the... Not the latest, latest, but well, like one of the latest. One of the biggest ones. Yeah. Um, he's going to be going into the Hall of Fame. Um, obviously, we do not have to go through the accolades of Kane. Um, one of the most iconic characters in all of professional I mean, wrestling. I you don't know what Kane's accomplishments are, you're really a professional wrestling fan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, also, um, announced on the same day, the great Kali is going to be yeah. inducted into the Hall of Fame. Um, a lot of people were confused about this, and I don't think a lot of people other than people in India realize right. how popular the great Kali is. Oh, yeah. Um, he is a... Me like, he is, the, he, is, he, is, he is the rock equivalent right. in India. Um, he owns wrestling schools. Oh, he yeah. was a part of parliament. He... Um, owns multiple buildings and right. restaurants, and uh, you know it's huge. So, um, and obviously WWE trying to push themselves into that market. Right. This was a great call. Yeah, it makes so, sense. Right. So as of right now, here are our Hall of Fames, and honestly, this is probably one of the best classes I've seen in a while. Oh really? Okay. Come on. M um, Molly Holly, Eric Bischoff, Kane, Greg Holly. Oh, this not. Who cares? Everybody, at least in this... Or the WWE's running out of so many people for the Hall of Fame. No, they're not. They're just not inducting the people that we want. <laughs> like... Owen Hart. Or Chris Benoit. Or other people. I mean, I think he should, but that's beside the point. Maybe, right. we'll, maybe we'll do a Pro Wrestling Zone on it. That'd be fun. Right. A PWZ Hall of Fame or something? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool. Um, uh, anyway, um, so... Um, Wednesday... Yes. There's going to be somebody who um, the NXT Tag Team Champions have vacated. Danny Burch, during the Tag Team Title Defense with Karrion Cross and Finn Balor, mm -hmm. suffered a separated shoulder. Right. He will be out between three to six months, maybe longer, depending. Uh -huh. And um, so the NXT Tag Team Champions have been vacated, and the match has been set for TakeOver's first night, and that will be... M um, 
MSK, mm-hmm. Grizzled Young Veterans, and um, Le- um, Legato Del Fantasma in a triple threat. Ooh, that'll be a nice match. It's going to be a sweet match. Uh, anyway, so uh, Batista took himself out of the uh, Hall so, of Fame class this year. So the reason is not because he doesn't want to go in. is because he has other contractual obligations with his stuff. And he, in- he had to miss it, and he didn't want the fans to feel... Left out again, right. and I, I, I do. I agree with this. I respect he'll, Batista he'll, for he'll that be, decision. He'll be a great addition to the 2022. Obviously, obviously, the uh, the marquee will be the Undertaker. So right. I mean, um, that's just a given. For, right, and that's fine. Not a big deal. <laughs> that's a given for Dallas, right. Texas. <laughs> right. Um, the Thunderdome. We're going to talk about the Andrade thing here in a minute, but All let's right. let's talk about the Thunderdome. It's, it's moving next again to the a, the Yingling Field in Tampa, Florida. Yes. I butcher that immensely, but whatever. The Yingling, yes. Um, it will be. It will start on the April twelfth edition of Raw. Is and when it's going to move. It will continue at least until August third. Yes. So we still have pretty much for the rest of the summer, and a lot of people are expecting that the end of the summer is going to be when we'll see fans um, on the regular right. and then back, back in the schedule. Stands, right. right. Um, you know, we're, we're right there, people. We're right. right there. We're about to go into April. If we've lasted right. this fucking long, we can last three more goddamn months. Right. Um, so let's, you can't have problems. So let's talk about – I really want to kind of deep – Dive deep into there the. There we go. Good job. There we go. Let's dive deep into the Andrade situation. But before we go into that, Charlotte Flair did confirm that she did test positive for COVID nineteen. Um, that's why she's been off TV. Anyways, yes. Let's talk about Andrade because this is really. I think we touched on this like briefly, but um, Ric Flair and Charlotte were behind Andrade with his request. They released. they they essentially threatened to leave WWE if Andrade was not released because yep. they put the value of Andrade's of Andrade's of Andrade's of Andrade's health and his happiness above their own careers. Right. And it's really something to say about the flares right. that they would really do that because Mr. McMahon could easily say, oh, okay, whatever, fuck off, bye. But, right. you know, they were they were, they were never going to use Andrade. Right. We said before that he was absolutely miserable. Oh, yeah. And he left. Um, there is no 90-day right. on his contract. Where he's going to go, I don't know. Right. He is not confirmed to be signing anywhere. But we know who's not signed with AEW as of yet. That so, is... So I'm, I am I saw what was going on with Zelina Vega. Yes. Um, or Thea Trinidad. Right. Thea Trinidad about um, having a ban on signing with AEW. I'm not sure if you saw... I don't, I don't know if that's a... Th- Thing, but we need to really keep an eye on that because that's interesting. So, so Thea Trinidad but is there is there a specific ban that the WWE has over? So what AEW? I'm so so what I'm hearing is that it's not a WWE issue; oh. it's one of her sponsors' issues. Oh. So, um, huh. one, once again, so Thea Trinidad obviously has been streaming on Twitch and doing all of that, getting sponsors. No big deal, right? And that was something that. Right. A lot of the wrestlers were doing when they were not working because right. what what the fuck else are you gonna right. do? Um, and obviously WWE took a problem with that because Zelina Vega had an OnlyFans, right. um, and trust me, there was no nudity, no right. pornography on her OnlyFans. It's essentially, Dang. like it's essentially like exclusive shots. Right. Nothing nude, nothing anything like that. But whatever. Right. Um, she was getting paid more there than she was on her WWE contract. Right. So. Um, it became a huge thing, right. and to what I am hearing now, I don't know if it's been confirmed that she has been banned from signing with anybody, right. but to what I'm hearing is that there might be some contact, uh, contractual obligations mm. um, regarding one of her sponsors. She has to meet. Right. Right. Um, which is fine, and it makes sense. And to me, here's my thing. Right. Why would you sign with another wrestling company if you're making that kind of money doing your own thing? I don't know. Not, not not putting your body on the line for anything like that. And I, I hate saying this, but Zelina Vega wasn't the greatest wrestler in the world. And the only person that would even make sense, oh, two people, Aleister Black and Andrade. Right. So, I mean, really, that's kind of where that is. Right. We'll obviously keep you guys up to date regarding any further news regarding um, 
all of the right. parties that are in this story. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, but for, as a part of stories, was there anything else that I possibly missed? Because it was. I don't think so. I think we touched on everything that I wanted to. But let's move on. Bibble study is coming up next. Yeah. I will be talking about quote pure rules in ROH. Excellent.